What's going on you guys? Jake Sanders here with the BP Built YouTube channel and today we're going to be going over the rear differentials in the first gen CRVs. Why they get that howl that they get. I'll see if I can overlay a couple of videos in here of it. They also get a chatter um, when you're turning, like in sharp turning in parking lots. You'll get like a, kind of like a shutter from the rear end. Um, and you'll also just get poor engagement from the rear end, making it feel mostly front wheel drive until like a few seconds afterwards when the rear end finally catches up and starts to spin with the front. The reasoning behind all that is the fluid in the rear end burns up over time and it gums up the clutch discs. Our rear differential works by a dual pump two system, which is a pump that compresses fluid and forces clutch discs together to lock the rear end into spinning with the front. So the rear end does take a second to catch up and finally lock in um, and start to spin the rear end but you will also lose engagement with old burnt fluid in there because the clutch disc will want to slip and you'll hear that howling noise that you get, which is caused because the old burnt fluid is gumming up the clutch disc and letting them slip. So the way I do, what I do is I first flush out the fluid one time, go drive it around and do a lot of sharp turning in parking lots and uh, kind of get all the fluid worked in, try and clean out those clutch discs as much as you can, and then bring it back in again, and then flush it one more time, just to be sure that you get all the old fluid out of there, all the old clutch material out of there, and you have fresh fluid to actually engage the rear end, and it'll help a million times better off-roading. So we'll go ahead and get into it. All right, so to do the rear dip flush, you're gonna need at least two quarts of Honda dual pump two fluid. You can't use ATF, you can't use anything else. You're gonna need to use this stuff. You can get it online or you can get it at your local Honda dealership. And to pump the fluid in, you can go get a tr fluid transfer pump or something like that. Or if you're an old Honda kid like me where you have multiple transmissions laying around, you can grab the speed shaft or speed sensor off of them. And they have two power steering lines that run to them that you can use to put one end in the bottle, one end in the diff, and you can use a dip, a drill to spin this up and it will pump the fluid from the bottle to the diff. All right, so you have two bolt hole, or bolts on the side of your rear diff. I always start with doing the fill hole and then removing, removing that first because if you remove the drain plug and you can't get the fill plug out, then you're pretty screwed. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Now that you have your diff drain, let me go ahead and reinstall your drain bolt. And then you're gonna grab your drill and whatever fluid pump you have, or if you're doing the same method as me, your uh, speed up, speed sensor, cable, whatever you want to call it. Um, then you're gonna grab your dip fluid. You're gonna put the short end into the bottle. And just like that, your diff is filled. Go ahead and let that drain out for a little bit. Now that you have your diff refilled with fluid, you can go ahead and reinstall your 
fill plug and tighten it down. All right, so now that we've done the first drainage fill on the rear differential, we're gonna go ahead and take the car out and we're gonna drive it and we're gonna do a lot of tight circles and figure eights to try and wear in the new fluid and break all the clutch deposits loose. And then after that, we'll come back and we'll do another drain fill and then it should be pretty good for this season. Um, the Element diffs and the 2007 and up CRV diffs, I believe, have a ramp assembly in them, which helps the differential engage quicker. And uh, I've been told it helps the rear end kind of feel more like an all wheel drive rather than a dual pump two uh, all wheel drive setup. But it's still gonna be a Honda dual pump two setup until you remove that pin it and swap to, swap to a viscous coupler. But we'll save that for a whole nother topic. Um, for now, we're just gonna go do these figure eights and then we'll come back and do another one. that you should be done with your diff flush and you should no longer have any howling from the back end whenever the rear end engages it'll engage much quicker uh, and you'll do a lot better off-road just all together so if you guys have any questions comments whatever go ahead and leave them down below and uh, go ahead and like subscribe comment do whatever